<sighs> Hello, loyal Silver Claws. This video was not a request. Uh, it just popped into my head one day, just like the idea for the 88 Miles song. Please make sure that while watching this video, you either sitting or laying down somewhere where you will not be disturbed, like ever. Make sure you will not be disturbed, because this induction, you can't really, like, wake up from it and then just be like, oh, okay, back, no, no, you're gonna have to start all over, and then it won't really work as well, because you'll already know what's coming. So, yeah, make sure you're either sitting like in a recliner or laying down completely laying down so yeah <sighs> on to the hypnosis just stare into the center of that spiral the center of that spiral is your whole world. The center of that spiral is the only thing. Just stare into it. The center of that spiral is the only thing in the world. The only thing that's important in the world. Just stare into it. Just keep staring into it. Direct all of your thoughts towards the center of that spiral and notice the little details of it. Like notice little lines going out. Are those concentric circles coming out of it? Or are they concentric? I don't know. Direct all of your thoughts and examine the rest of the image with your peripheral vision. For about 10 seconds. Notice the little details, but keep the rest of your vision fixed on the center of that spiral. Now, direct even your peripheral vision towards the center of that spiral. You notice that directing all of this attention towards the center of the spiral is exhausting and relaxing all at the same time and exhausting and relaxing over and over again all at the same time it's also a little bit tiring and exhausting and it's relaxing it's all of those things at once it's everything that's relaxing exhausting and tiring any of those words you can think of and it's so exhausting that it becomes so hard to stare at the center of that spiral. But let my voice be an inspiration. Let my voice be the only thing in your mind. Just let my voice replace all of your thoughts because it takes more energy to stare even your thoughts into the center of that spiral. Just let my voice direct you towards the center of that spiral. Just just let my voice take over your thoughts. Just let my voice be your thoughts. Let my voice be the only thing in your mind. If you just let my voice in, you'll have an easier time staring into the center of that spiral. Just keep staring into it. Just keep staring into it. Direct even your peripheral vision into the center of that spiral. And you'll notice that as my voice is the center of that spiral, it's helping you direct your attention to the center of that spiral. You notice that my voice goes where your attention goes. Just look at the far left corner of that screen. Look at how the line is there and it gets thinner. And it's coming from different directions. And now your attention is directed to the left corner of that spiral to the top left corner now back to the center of the spiral 
it's so exhausting to stare into the center of that spiral. It's getting more and more exhausting and relaxing all at the same time. And your eyelids, you can barely keep them open. And you realize that as your mind and eyes get exhausted, the rest of your body has been getting exhausted and relaxed too, to a completely limp position. But you haven't noticed that yet because your attention is to the center of that spiral. Just keep staring into it. Just keep staring into the center of that spiral. Try to go deeper into the center of that spiral. Try and go, try and go clear behind the screen to the center of that spiral. And it becomes more and more three-dimensional as you try to do this, as it wraps around your whole body. And that spiral becomes your entire world. And, and now, I just want you to let your exhausted and tired eyelids close. And all of that attention that you've been directing towards the center of that spiral, I just want you to direct it to my voice. And now that your full attention is on my voice, just listen to it. Everything that my voice says is true. And all the suggestions that my voice makes are the grandest suggestions in the world. I just want you to imagine that spiral in your head. And I want you to turn that spiral into a staircase, leading down into even more complete and total relaxation. Right now, you're on the tenth step, and you're going to step down into complete and total relaxation and trance. Just step down to the ninth step. Every time I snap my fingers and say the word sleep, you will go deeper and deeper into relaxation and trance, and it will feel oh so good to just listen to my voice and be in complete and total relaxation and trance. But you are not there yet. Now step down to the ninth step and sleep. You, you, you're going deeper into trance already and relaxation. Right now, you're very relaxed, but you know that you could be more relaxed. Now down to the eighth step and sleep. You're getting more and more relaxed and your surroundings begin to disappear, but you don't care about that because my voice and this relaxation that you are in are the only things that are relevant or important. Now down to the seventh step and sleep. When I say the word inhale, you're going to take the deepest, longest inhalation you have ever took, taken. And as you inhale, all of your stress and anxiety and worries, all of that, all of your anxieties, stress, worries, fears, cautions, and phobias, they'll all boil up inside of you. You're just going to let them just boil up inside of you when I say inhale. And you're going to take the longest inhalation. It's going to take at least five seconds for you to complete it. You're going to fill the air in your lungs up completely with air. You're going to fill your lungs up so completely that you won't even know what it's like to have lungs that are filled up about halfway. And all of that stress and anxiety and worry will completely just boil up inside of you, just, just boil up inside of you. And when I say exhale, you'll take an even longer and deeper exhalation. And all of that will be gone with the air in your lungs and you're going to slowly release it with the air in your lungs. And you will not be stressed or worried or anxious at all. Now inhale. Inhale long, long, longer, longer. Keep inhaling. 
and hold it. All of that stress and anxiety has just boiled up inside of you. You're just so stressed and anxious and worried. And now, when I say exhale, you're going to exhale and exhale. Longer, longer, and all of that is gone with the air in your lungs. All of that anxiety and stress is gone with the air in your lungs. It's completely gone. Now down to the sixth step and sleep. We're almost down into complete and total relaxation and trance. I just want you to imagine a room. And that room is your mind. And thoughts are little birds that can fly in. And you're sitting on an extremely comfortable chair. And if a bird thought flies in, just let it fly out. It'll find its way out. It'll recognize that it's not supposed to be there and fly out. And chasing it will require effort and energy. And effort and energy are completely irrelevant right now. It takes no energy to let my voice be the thing that drives your mind. And your surroundings have completely disappeared. You don't even remember quite what they were. You don't remember anything. Because my voice is the only thing in your mind. Now down to the fifth step and sleep. When I say inhale, we're going to take an inhalation that's the longest ever. Just tying that inhalation you took earlier. Only this time, all of your anger and frustration will boil up inside of you. All that anger, frustration, unfairness, all of that will boil up inside of you. Just let it boil up completely inside of you until you want to scream so loud it shatters all of the windows in the house, in the world, all of the glass in the world, when I say inhale. And when I say exhale, you're going to take a deep, deep, long, long, long exhalation. And all of that will be gone with the air in your lungs. Now, inhale longer, a little bit longer, and hold it. All of your anger and frustration has completely boiled up inside of you until you want to scream so loud it has just burst all of the windows in the world. And exhale longer, a little longer. And all of that anger and frustration is gone with the air in your lungs. Now down to the fourth step and sleep. You're ha over halfway down into complete and total relaxation. And it just feels oh so good to just be so relaxed. You couldn't imagine ever putting any labor, mental, physical, ever, anywhere. Now down to the third step and sleep. You're almost down into complete and total relaxation. And you just want to go deeper and deeper into relaxation. You're just so relaxed. Just so, so relaxed. Now down to the second step in. Sleep. You're so close to complete and total relaxation and trance. And you just want to go so deeper just deep into relaxation. You can hardly imagine being any more relaxed. However, step down to the first step and sleep. You're completely relaxed and entranced and it just feels oh so good to just be so relaxed that it's not even funny. You're just so, so relaxed. 
I just want you to imagine an avatar for yourself. It could be an animal, it could even be a plant, or it could just be you, whichever. And I just want you to imagine yourself just, just laying down on a bed with no blankets or anything. It's just a very comfortable bed. And I just want you to imagine your avatar for yourself on that bed. And a blanket of relaxation suddenly appears over that avatar as it, as it appears over yourself. And it just makes you just a little bit more relaxed as that avatar. I just want you to imagine that avatar falling asleep. And I just want you to imagine yourself falling asleep. And falling asleep suddenly becomes the most wonderful thing in the world. And now I just want you to imagine a hallway. You're going to take ten steps to the end of that hallway. And by the time you're at the end of that hallway, you will be asleep. In very light sleep. Just take the first step. Every time I snap my fingers and say, sleep, you're going to be closer and closer to sleep. This will be a shorter trip than the one down the staircase. Just take the next step down to the ninth step and sleep. You're getting more and more close to sleep, just closer to sleep, and you just want to fall asleep into a very, very light sleep when you can still hear my voice because my voice is soothing and relaxing and the only thing of any relevance or importance. Now down to the eighth step and sleep. You're closer and closer to sleep with every step you take and you just want to be asleep in a very light sleep where you can hear my voice. Very light sleep, where you can hear my voice. A very light sleep, where you can hear my voice. A very light sleep, where you can hear my voice. A very light sleep, where you can hear my voice. Just take the seventh step and sleep. You're closer and closer with every step you take, and you're getting closer and closer by the minute. You're very much closer than you were at the beginning to sleep, a very light sleep, when you can still hear my voice, because my voice is extremely relaxing and soothing and the only thing. Now, sixth step and sleep. You're almost halfway down into sleep, a very light sleep, my ad, where you can still hear my voice because my voice is relaxing and entrancing. Fifth step, sleep. You're halfway down into sleep. Now down to the eighth, down to the fourth step and sleep. You're more than halfway down into sleep. And you just want nothing more than to sleep. Just be asleep. Now down to the sixth. Now down to the third step and sleep. My voice becomes almost abstract. A little bit abstract. Because you're so relaxed that your brain cannot comprehend words anymore. It can barely comprehend words. But my voice still sounds soothing and relaxing. Now down to the third second step and sleep. You're almost half you're almost down into sleep and you just want to sleep. Now down to the first step and sleep. Now you are asleep. You're in an extremely light sleep and you can still hear my voice you can hear my voice 
and right now you're in a dark void. You are in a dark, dark void of blackness. And you get the sense that you're in a hallway, just like the one you are in, to get down into sleep. Now, you see a light, a yellow light, at the end, or what seems like the end of this hallway. And it gets bigger and bigger until it gets closer and closer and closer until it absorbs you. You are in the yellow light. And you see that you are on a green place. It's grass. You see that you're on grass with nothing but a blue sky with a few wispy white clouds. And you see to the left a big red bird. And this bird you see looks like a crane. This is a big red crane and that big red crane slowly morphs colors until it's a light royal blue color it's a pale blue color it spreads its massive wings and soars into the sky and you can see its feathers they almost match the colors of the sky, but not quite. The sky is brighter than the bird, and the bird is paler than the sky. And as it walks, and as you soar over it, you realize that the yellow light at the end of the tunnel was the sun. And you can see the sun. You can see the sun now that the bird has, has flown away from it. And I just want you to realize that you're walking, walking, walking forward to what looks like in the direction of the sun, but the sun is up. And you're not going up. And you see three trees ahead of you with orange leaves. Not orange leaves like in fall, but bright orange leaves. Very, very bright orange leaves. And those leaves fall off and turn into more birds, just like that big massive crane. Only the crane was blue, and these birds are orange. And new leaves start to grow on the trees. Green leaves, very bright green leaves. The trees are in a triangle formation. With the farthest one from you being the point. Well, the farthest point from you. And you're just walking towards that triangle formation of trees until you're in the center of the triangle formation of trees. And the grass grows up, 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 up. And the sun falls from the sky. If the sky is still bright, it's as if the blue itself is glowing. And as the sun is falling from the sky, it goes into the ground. And you see yellow light, and you see yellow lightning bolts almost. They're kind of like lightning bolts coming from all directions. And those yellow lightning bolts go into the long grass above, around you. It goes into the long grass above you. And now you're surrounded 
by yellow grass. And that yellow grass wraps around you. And everything is black. And now, you in room, just like the one I wanted you to picture with thoughts being birds. And each of those birds carries a dream. And when a bird flies in, you'll begin a new dream. And every time that dream is over, you'll come back to this room in this soft, comfortable chair. And another bird will fly in with another short, weird dream. These dreams, they're not nightmares, and they're not happy dreams. They're just dreams. You might be floating in space, and you might be on the ground. These dreams are neither happy, nor scary, nor sad. They're just little blips, like little animations almost. Although they're, you accept that these are dreams. Day. And every time you're over with the dream, you will. Every time a dream ends, you will come back to this room with the little birds. And now I'm going to leave the birds to guide your dreams. Every time a dream ends, another bird will fly in until you wake up. And now I will leave the birds to guide your dreams.